Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you five beauty products and tools that I feel are completely worth splurging on. And of course I realize not everyone is in a financial situation to splurge on any of the products I'm going to be showing you today. So if the products aren't things you can just run out and buy right this second, maybe consider them for the future, for your birthday, for Mother's Day. But even if it's not one of those occasions, I still think it's important for us to splurge on ourselves once in a while. Not only are the five items I'm going to be talking about today meant to improve your looks, but I hope they'll have the same impact on you as they do on me regarding how they make me feel when I use them. Now that might seem a little odd to say about my first product, which is my Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer. You're probably thinking, Risa, how the heck does a hair dryer make you feel good when you use it? Well, because I know that I'm doing something good for my hair. I have been using the Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer for about eight months now. And this is the second time I have partnered with the brand to share my experience. As I mentioned, I've been using this hair dryer for a while now. And between this and a little bit of a switching up with my hair washing routine, I have seen such an improvement in my hair's softness and density. Now, before I get into more of my own personal experience, I do wanna tell you a little bit more about the hair dryer and why I feel it is the best hair dryer for people experiencing age-related hair changes like thinning and dryness. The most intriguing thing about this hair dryer is that it does not use heat. It uses light, which is far more gentle on the hair. It dries the water on the surface of your hair to retain your hair's internal moisture. When you turn on the Zuvi Halo, you will see the green Aurora light light up. This hair dryer has four settings, care, fast, soft, and style. I start off by rough drying my hair on the fast setting without any attachment. Then I put on the nozzle attachment, switch over to the style setting, and then I round brush my extremely wavy hair to smooth it out. Not only is it more gentle on my hair, but a couple of other things I really love about it are number one, it's quiet. Nobody likes a super loud hair dryer. It's also lightweight and best of all, I don't sweat while blow drying my hair. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I am standing there blowing out my hair with what one might equate to like a blowtorch to my head. Okay, maybe not a blowtorch, but traditional hair dryers can get very, very, very hot. And in turn, I get very, very hot, almost to the point where I feel like I have to take another shower. And I think you'd all agree that nobody likes that feeling. By the way, the Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer has won multiple beauty industry awards, including Allure Magazine's Best of Beauty. Healthy hair is beautiful hair, and beautiful hair gives us a lot of confidence. Zuvi Halo is currently 20% off, but you can use my code RISA for an extra 5% off. Of course, I will have the link down below in the description box. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them for me in the comments. Up next is pretty much any product from Hourglass. No, actually not any product. More specifically, their ambient lighting powder products. The bronzers, the blushes, the finishing powders. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these palettes back in, I think they launched in October or November. Actually, maybe it was earlier than that. But every year for the last couple of years, they've come out with these ambient lighting palettes, which allows you to get a little taste of everything. The finishing powders, the blushes, the bronzers. And these palettes received so much hype for good reason. They are ideal for travel, but they're also ideal for every day. And being that these aren't available right now, I do suggest maybe trying one of their bronzers. My favorite is Radiant Bronze Light. One of my favorite shades of blush is Sublime Flush. It's the one I have on right now. These blushes are almost like airbrush blush. That's really hard to say. Airbrush blushes. That is a tongue twister. This blush and these powders and bronzers make your skin look airbrushed. I'm trying not to put too much more on. 
And then these finishing powders and highlighters just give your skin the most beautiful, beautiful glow. Okay, maybe I did go a little heavy-handed with the blush. I just got a new camera and I had to adjust the lighting settings, the white balance and the ISO and the aperture. I don't know. I am so illiterate when it comes to technology. The fact that I am actually recording right now and it seems to be working is kind of a surprise to me. I was getting so stressed out in preparation to film this video. So product number two that is splurge worthy, in my opinion, is any hourglass ambient powder. Bronzer, blush, highlight, finishing. Do I recommend you go on eBay and get this for $200? No. Oh my goodness, the Owl Palette is on eBay for $239.99. Unless you really, really love owls, or you're just a collector of these palettes or this art, then no, I do not think you should spend that kind of money on it. Because for that price, you can pretty much just go and buy six full-size ambient lighting powders of your choice. All right, up next is something that I talked about in a recent video of mine, and I wasn't sure if I should put it in this video, but then I thought, no, that's crazy. This is something that I pretty much swear by, and I tell all of my friends about it. This is my Zip Facial Toning Device. I do not go anywhere now without this device. Yes, it looks like a computer mouse, in fact, one day when I was charging this in our bathroom, my husband walked in and said, why are you charging a computer mouse in the bathroom? First of all, I don't even use a computer mouse anymore, but I said, that is not a computer mouse. That is my facial toning device. And how you use this is you download the Zip app, although I have recently started not following along with the um, regimens that they have on the app. I kind of free hand it these days because I've done it so much. It gives you both immediate and long lasting effects. You just apply gel all over your face and neck, turn the device on. It uses varying frequencies of microcurrent and nanocurrent. Microcurrents are what gives you that instant effect. Nanocurrents are what gives you the long lasting effects. There are multiple routines you can follow along with on the app. As I was saying, I pretty much freeform it these days, and I just am always in awe of the instant lift. It gives my cheeks, it gives my brow bone. I feel like it helps to snatch my jawline. It's my little must-have that goes with me everywhere. Well, not everywhere. It's not like I take it to the grocery store or to the mall. What I mean by that is when I'm traveling, I will always, always take it with me now. Okay, some people have a signature scent early on in their lives. I am not one of those people. I started working in the beauty industry at a department store in 1996. I started working for Laura Mercier. I was the counter manager, makeup artist, all that good stuff. And when you work in that type of environment, you are inevitably going to be surrounded by a lot of fragrances because they're typically near each other. The cosmetics department and the fragrance department are usually side by side. So I have encountered a lot of fragrances in my life. I have been given a lot of fragrances, but that was a very long-winded way of me saying that I have just never found my signature scent because I've always had just too many in my collection. So about three or four years ago, I decided it was time for me to find a signature scent or at least narrow it down a little bit and try to find the ones that made me feel amazing, that made me feel feminine and sexy, that are long wearing. If I'm going to spend that kind of money, if I'm going to spend more than 200 or even $300 for a fragrance, it better last all day long. I don't wanna to have to keep spraying it. Some people don't care. They buy luxury fragrances all the time and they don't mind having to reapply. Not me. I want the fragrance to last. So I'm going to show you some of my personal favorites. First up is Delina by Parfums de Marly. I get so many compliments on this fragrance when I wear it. And I'm going to put the notes here on the screen simply because I am terrible at describing scents. This one is an obvious floral. It's not that difficult to describe. It's like a light, powdery floral, but to me, it's not migraine inducing. It's not super sweet. It's just very, very soft and feminine. 
I was wearing this at the airport once and I was at the little kiosk trying to tag my Southwest bag and I ended up needing some assistance and the worker came over and she helped me out and then she said, ooh, you smell amazing. What is that scent? So I said, it's Perfumes de Marley, Delina. And she's like, Delina, Delina, okay, got it. And if she's anything like me, she immediately went on her phone and looked it up and then maybe said to herself, that woman is crazy. I am not spending that much on a fragrance. Or maybe she didn't. Maybe she said, I have to have it. Because honestly, that was me. After I sprayed it a couple of times, I would go to Nordstrom, I would spray it on myself, I'd walk around. And after doing that like four to five times over the course of four or five months, I decided it was time to buy one. I don't know what happened to my cap though. And then about a year ago, I was shopping in Scottsdale with a friend of mine. We were at Saks Fifth Avenue and I went up to the Parfums de Marly counter and I was telling my friend how much I loved this scent. And so we were just spraying a bunch and we were spraying them on the little cards. We weren't spraying them all on ourselves. But the one that I decided I did want to spray on myself and walk around with was this one called Safanade. This is a much heavier, sexier fragrance. This is my go-to date night scent. And I actually did not buy it that day. The sales associate made me a sample. Then I remember that was last April and I asked for it as a Mother's Day gift. So this was a gift that I got from my boys for Mother's Day and I absolutely love it. And can we just talk about these bottles? They are so beautiful. They look stunning on a vanity. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a sexy, rich heiress when I wear this. I knew when I was planning this video that I wanted to show a lip product, but I was trying to think of what lip product do I really, really think is worth the money. High-end or luxury lipsticks these days typically start around $40 and prices are only going up. So when I was thinking about a lip product that is worth the money, I felt like it had to do a number of things. One, obviously have a good color selection. And then I also wanted to choose something that was comfortable on the lips and long wearing. So many times I have tried long wearing lip products and I'm sure you have too, and they just feel horrible on your lips. They're, they're super drying, perhaps they're uncomfortable. And then on the opposite end, when you go and try a glossy lipstick, those tend to not last at all. So what do we do? We go to the Giorgio Armani counter. These are all of the shades that I have in their Lip Power Lipstick. I have spoken about my love for these lipsticks many times over the last several years since they launched. I remember doing a video called Product So Good, I Need More, and these were in it. Oh great, now I mixed up all the colors and I didn't bring my glasses in to read the bottoms to see what number I currently have on. Oh, I did bring in my glasses. These are my new glasses. Oh, they're dirty already. Dang it. I just picked them up yesterday too, but they did give me cleaner and a cloth. 503, shade 503. They have a teardrop shape, which makes them just really form to your lips. The color payoff is fantastic. They have a little bit of a shine to them, but they're not super glossy. And my favorite thing about them, they last a long time. And I just saw that these won Best Lipstick in the Pop Sugar 2022 Beauty Awards and also Allure Magazine's 2022 Best of Beauty Lips Award. They're formulated with hydrating, protective lip oils, and I am just a little addicted to them. Yes, they retail for $45, but yes, I think they are worth the splurge. You are worth splurging on. Never forget that. I know for a lot of us women, our lives have just been built around caring for others, taking care of others' needs. A lot of women don't have any kind of assistance when it comes to child rearing, or maybe at this age you're taking care of elderly parents. I am very blessed. My husband and I have always been, you know, 50-50 partners in everything. In fact, I wouldn't be where I am today without his support and encouragement, but I understand not everybody has that in their lives. And whether you do or whether you don't, I just want you to know that you deserve to treat yourself once in a while. I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. 
All of the products will be listed and linked down below in the description box of this video. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider doing so. I do upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on Instagram and on TikTok. My username is the same everywhere. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.